Today is Wednesday, 14th of September, 2022, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is Walk in Humility. Our theme scripture is taken from John 8, verse 12, and it says, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Be submissive to the Lord and his word. That's true humility, Pastor says. In Philippians 2 verse 3 of the Amplified Classic, the spirit adjures, do nothing from factional motives, through contentiousness, strive, selfishness, or for unworthy ends, or prompted by conceit and empty arrogance. Instead, in the true spirit of humility, lowliness of mind, let each regard the others as better than and superior to himself, thinking more highly of one another than you do of yourselves. Wow. In essence, he's saying, be humble. Never disdain your brothers and sisters in Christ, especially your leaders in the Lord. Be submissive. Praise the Lord. Pride is of the devil. Praise the Lord. Pride is of the devil. It led to his self-exaltation, and for his haughtiness, God kicked him out of his place of honor. So, Pastor says, make the conscious decision to walk in humility. Praise God. It's part of the manifestation of the life of Christ in you. It brings promotion. The Bible says, God resists the proud and gives more grace to the humble. That grace, Pastor says in conclusion, results in honor, increase, enlargement, and progress. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord our God, for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. Okay, let's take a confession now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say after me. I'm submissive to the authority, influence, and impact of God's word. I receive the word into my heart, acting accordingly, making definite changes in my character and attitude, with and through the word. Every day, I walk in excellent humility of heart, with the willingness to take on the responsibility of service to others. In loyalty to the word, thereby attracting divine favor and promotion. All oh, glory to God. All right for further study. All right for further study. Please read Philippians 2, 5 to 9, 1 Peter 5, 5 to 6, and Romans 12, verse 3. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart into my spirit thank you lord for saving my soul i have eternal life now i'm a child of god now i am born again thank you lord 
If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. 